Hey, what's going on, everyone? My name is Chris. I am here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube, and we have another video for you today. It is Tuesday, and we've actually had a very busy morning, and we had a thrifting challenge at the Benz with one of our friends, Kristen, over at A Rural Squirrel. And yeah, we had a great morning, found a bunch of good stuff. You can look forward to that video, I think, next week, um, Wednesday. And yeah, I'm gonna turn over to Kathy so we can see what sold for us today. And yeah. Yeah, I think we have six things going out, so not a huge right. day. Yeah, and but... since we've been busy all morning, we haven't gotten any footage, so yeah. we're starting the video now, which means we're probably gonna add in oh, tomorrow's <laughs> sales along with these sales. So this is gonna be a two day what sold. So these men set up, just like a slip on I did pick these up for $9.99 at Goodwill, sold them for $29 plus ship. That was an offer I sent to a watcher on eBay. Um, I only had them listed about a week, so fast sale at that price. Yeah. And actually, we don't even need this table today. Just kind of move it. We do need a vacuum. This kind of yeah. stuff bothers me so much. <laughs> Yeah, we need a vacuum, we need to restock we, our boxes. <laughs> it's gonna be even harder when we have the wood, the wood stuff. Yeah. I don't, we don't even have shoe boxes in here right now. Uh-oh, so. <laughs> so we really need to restock. Yeah. Okay, DJ, Paisley. All right, this is a Ralph Lauren women's Paisley like button down shirt. I picked it up for five bucks, sold it for $28 plus shipping on eBay. See ya. Bye. <laughs> Nothing we, down there for you, man. <laughs> he just had a treat right before we started shooting and he's just acting. hyped up. Yeah. yeah. Was there like cracking that thing or he something? He probably just thinks he's getting more, but. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, that'll just go out in a poly mailer. Another pair of Sanook sold. These ones are really cute. They're women's. They have like a little owl moon tree print on them. Super yeah. cute. I picked these ones up for $6.99. Sold them for $28. No, $29.88 plus shipping on eBay. So these ones are under a pound. So those are going to go out in a mailer. Do moons again because there's moons on the shoes. All right, and then we have a viewer sale. Let me grab both items first. So see why, where am I? My brain is like <laughs> mushed today. Yeah. Yes. Spent the whole morning at the Benz. Yeah. And I even sourced a little bit, <laughs> found some stuff. Yep. That Kathy's not excited about. I'm not excited because I don't want to listen to stuff. I will listen to the things that I found just because I found. That's what you said about that toy hey, thing though hey, last week. I haven't. <laughs> not, I, I mean, I'm not. I'm, I'm still going to listen. <laughs> I just don't know when. <laughs> All right. So these two items are going out to our viewer, Ben. He said he wanted to uh, get himself a couple new things because it's his birthday. So happy awesome. birthday, Ben. Ben, happy and, birthday. Yeah, he just wanted to thank us for all the, like, uh, sharing what brands and stuff sell for us. Awesome. So, uh, what he got was this Nike, it's like a Nike Golf Argyle kind of full zip sweater and then a quick silver windbreaker. Sweet. And I don't remember what it was all listed at, but he offered me $70, which was super, very generous. Yeah. Um, and I was happy to accept. And yeah, I had $10.99 into the windbreaker, $7.99 into the sweater. So $19 or so is what I have into these. Ben, we appreciate the amazing support, and yeah, happy birthday again. Thank you. Um, Reese, say happy birthday. Happy birthday, Ben. <laughs> he saw there was nothing downstairs <laughs> to get into, so. And um, we had this book from yesterday, so we'll just use regional bee box for those. Okay, and actually these last two sales are two of my listings from last night, so they hadn't been put away yet. But I don't have to cross post them. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, both Nike, both Flyknit, if that tells you anything. Nike Flyknit stuff tends to sell quickly. These are women's, these are the Lunar Epics. Picked these up for $10.99, sold them for $30.41 plus shipping. Um, these did sell, I feel like this name and address for some reason like looked familiar to me. Mm. They didn't leave a message, but it, again, if it's a 
if it's a viewer, you probably bought something from us before and then left a message, although it didn't say repeat buyer either. So it could not be a viewer, <laughs> but if you are, Carol, thank you so much. Just your, your name with your last name and for some reason your, and your address. And your address. Yeah, all together looked familiar. So, Carol, if you happen to be a viewer, we do appreciate yeah. <laughs> the support. And these Nikes are actually under a pound, so they're just going to go in a cellophane and then a regular poly mailer. And then the other ones are men's pair. These ones are not under a pound, but they are going to go in a shoe box. Sold them for fifty two sixteen plus shipping on eBay. I bought them for ten ninety nine as well. So awesome! Nice little flip there. These sold global shipping, which means I didn't check the total, but the buyer probably is all in close to a hundred dollars with the extra shipping and stuff. Yeah. So. Yeah, I've sold this model a few times and it's always sold super fast. These are called the. I think they're like the free run fly knit twenty seventeens or something. Okay. So. That Sweet. is what's going out. I, yeah, we I need shoe boxes, right? I phone downstairs, so if anything else came in, I don't know about it yet. So. Right. So that's going to go in a shoe box as well? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I think we have shoe boxes in the closet. We'll check. If not, I know we've got some out in the trailer. Yeah. But we'll get this stuff packed up and find Kathy's phone <laughs> yeah. and see if we've had any other sales, and then we'll check back in. Got our six packages ready to go out. Got my phone. No more sales. I'm gonna send a couple of eBay offers. Maybe something yeah. will come through. Probably not. Probably Anyways. not. It's okay. Um, yeah, I figured since it was a slower pulling day, I was just gonna show you what I'm gonna be listing today. Yeah, we're a little bit ahead of time as far as getting our packages up. It's only 2:49. We get our kids at like 3:40. <laughs> They yeah. get out at 3.40, but we usually leave our house at that time because it takes a minute to get there. Yeah, we're the back of the liners. <laughs> yeah. So, anyways, um, before we get them, we'll definitely have time to record our haul finally. Yeah, still got to record this Ben's yeah. haul, which was with... That's the rest of the stuff that you got when you yeah. were... When I was sourcing with, Re with Rebecca. Rebecca, yeah. Friend. And then last night I went to Once Upon a Child just... Uh, I just realized I hadn't been there in a while. And then I was also like, wait a minute. I feel like the sandal day should have happened already yeah. where they like release all their sandals. Cause they don't keep them out throughout the whole year. Like mm -hmm. half the year they have snow boots, half the year they have sandals. So anyways, I called and they're like, yeah, we already have them out. So I was like, Oh, I'll go find them. <laughs> Which I feel like I found more regular shoes than sandals, but anyways. And so what's the sandal day? Is it super discounted well, or no, it just, is that's when just they, release they release them, them all. And then I okay. like, I'm like, okay, that's when probably the best yeah. stuff is still there. Yeah. So I probably missed that, but Still got a few things. I got a whole bag full. Um, spent $109.07 with tax, and I think I got like 20 pairs or so, so five or $6 a pair, I guess. Okay. With Once Upon a Child, it's more like his getting a lot at once. Like this took me, I think I was only there an hour. They close at eight. I got there at like seven, so. And you must, you must have had the boys with yeah, you because I, I wasn't there. Yeah. Well, I like it because the shoes are right next to the toy so I can let the kids oh. like play just a little, but yeah. they're right here with me, so. Yeah. I don't like bringing them to most stores because they're just. They they're boys. <laughs> they want to just touch everything in yeah. sight and it just gets a little crazy, so. Yeah. Yeah, so, anyways, five or six dollars a pair. Again, these, my goal with Once Upon a Child sourcing days are to find a lot, and I'm gonna photograph these all today and at least list 15 of them. Mm -hmm. But it's just fast and yeah. easy. So, yeah, um, we don't have to clean them. They're usually pretty yeah, clean. There's no numbers on the bottom. Other than that, I mean, I know it looks like there's a lot going on up here, but most stuff's already listed. It just, some of it hasn't been put away. So, I needed yeah. 15 easy listings to do today, so I kind of figured I'd find stuff there. So. Yeah. Yeah, um, I don't know what kind of Adidas these are, but these were interesting to me. They're Adidas and they Crayola. say Crayola on them. Yeah, so I didn't really look up comps. I figured it was worth the price they were asking <laughs> at least. These are my favorite play shoes for kids. Um, this style specifically is my favorite for our kids. So I may keep those, but if not, these usually sell 30 or so dollars plus shipping. Um, cute little tie-dye Crocs, toddler floor. Those will probably sell for around 20 plus shipping. Nice. They did have a pair of snow boots left. These are North Face snow boots. These were priced at the highest of everything, but I'm probably going to average my cost of goods. So these are priced at 15. I did have 20% off, so I paid 12 on these, but they'd okay. probably sell for like 35 or so plus shipping. Yeah. Maybe not till next year though at this point. I uh, got some Keens Kids Mary Jane flats. These are size two youth. Just a nice black flat. You can, they're kind of like an outdoorsy shoe, but also you can wear these to look 
you know, with your church clothes or something. Like a regular yeah, daily like a daily wear, yeah. thought these were super cool. These are native, which I love selling native, but they're like Hello Kitty flats. I've never seen flats before. Hmm. So, and it's also funny because they had all their natives priced at $10, but they must have not known these were natives because <laughs> they just priced them at four fifty. Or Hello Kitty. Like. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, they just called them Hello Kitty shoes. Yeah. Which is also funny because I found these, and these are kind of beat up, but I wasn't going to leave them. They had these priced as Disney shoes for six fifty, whereas these are Adidas um, Rex from Toy Story. Oh, that's what they, okay, yeah. So. Um, Toy Story, the dinosaur. Yeah, if they had these priced at Adidas, they probably would have been at least 10 or 12 bucks. So, yes, yeah. which you get sometimes <laughs> once upon a child but yeah these are three youth they are beat up around the edges like they have somewhere like that but i mean for the price i felt like someone will still buy these so i thought they were cool very cool um got some little baby jordans some lebrons i don't i didn't look up exact comps or anything but usually these baby nikes can sell for around 30 35 bucks or so got some little petty peds these usually sell 18 or 20. A couple of pairs of Sea Kai Run. These are the real Sea Kai Run. So the ones from Target would say Sea Kai Run Basics, which I think I had one pair and put it back of those. But these are cute little silver Mary Jane size five. Mm. These are just like a little fruit sneaker print. Uh, these ones are girls youth size 13 or yeah, like a little kid size 13. So. Uh, I mean, these will probably sell around 20, 25. These probably 25 to 30. These are just like a, st they're stride right, but I feel like a lower end line of stride right. So stride right makes really nice leather shoes. I think these are faux leather, but there was two of them and I believe they're the same size, which is why I bought them. Yeah, there's somebody must have had twins or just liked the Two shoes pairs. Yeah. yeah so they're both size six toddler and they're like a fisherman sandal mm. so i figured i only would have to do one listing they both look unworn and i'd have two pairs and they were only mm. priced at 250 so i only paid two bucks after my discount each okay so i figured even if they sell for like 15 dollars each that's still for both pairs together like a 20 dollar profit i wouldn't sell them together as a lot but i would do one listing for both pairs you know what i mean right like, like a multi-quantity multi yeah, yeah. Another pair of play shoes. These are like a knit pair. These are pretty unisex, size 10 toddler. Probably looking around $30 on those. These are Keen Unique. Um, are these your size? I think these might be women's size six and a half. So I like that red and blue color. Those are like made out of rope or whatever, like yeah. the cord. So that's the unique. Is that what you said? Yeah. U N E E K is how the keen spells uh -oh. the model of shoe. <laughs> it's funny because that's like keen backwards. Neek. Hmm, never thought of that. <laughs> I, I didn't look these up. These are Converse, but a different style than I've ever sold before. Kind of interesting. They are a size seven. I think these are men's or I guess youth seven. But yeah. I mean, it says kid, but I feel like men and youth sizes are the same, so. I don't know how much these are gonna go for, but they were in good shape, minus a tiny little bit of wipe down, but. They look nice. Yeah, and then I got some little crop flip-flops. I debated on these because a lot of, I don't like buying flip-flops in like small toddler sizes because they can barely even walk as it is, and mm -hmm. then they could trip a lot. But since these had like the back strap, I was like, I think those, I think they'll sell. So yeah. they're a size six, seven toddler. They'll probably sell around 20 bucks. And lastly is a pair of Sorel. I've never seen this out before. So um, these are five youth. Yeah, I don't know if these, I feel like these laces are not original to the boots, but can be used as is or as your own laces. But yeah, nice leather Sorel boots. So I would imagine at least 35 to 40 on those. Sweet. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be listing today, and yeah. so I'm, we still have no draft bank. I don't know if <laughs> we are going on a spring break trip soon, so I don't know that I'll have listings, but I'm going yeah. to at least have a few. Obviously, I don't think I'll be able to do my 15 a day while we're gone, but maybe a five a day, at least just right. active. Yeah, and, and we could even do stuff like 
relisting, yeah. some older listings. We'll definitely do something each yeah. day in our stores. Well, some of our stores might have to go off if we're gone a full week. So. Right. But, but didn't Mercari just add vacation mode? Yeah, they did. That's so. nice. Because last time we went on vacation, yeah. I didn't realize when you deactivate all your listings and then reactivate them, that like it reactivates all the ones you've ever hidden in your life. Which we've hidden things that have sold on other yeah, platforms for, instead like, of years. deleting them. <laughs> Because you never know. if something gets returned, you don't want, you know you need the photographs. But and using like, I'm talking about before List Perfect yeah. existed to now, where we can just go back and easily put it right. on. Like, so I didn't used to want to delete because I was like, I don't want to have to go remake the whole listing. But yeah, right now it's easy with List Perfectly, so yes. we just delete them, or we should delete them. Yeah. Sometimes we we usually delete follow them, our habit. but there's still a lot that are just marked deactivated and yeah. yeah. But anyways, Mercury it does just keep them separate. Added real vacation mode to where. Whatever you put on vacation mode will reactivate, and any deactivated items will not. So, very nice. Perfect timing. For <laughs> Perfect us. timing. Almost serendipitous. Yeah. So yeah, uh, that's what Kathy's gonna work on getting listed. Should be some easy, easy yeah, listings easy today. Today. Which is nice because we, you know, we've been well, out all I knew, morning. I knew we were gonna be doing that bins haul today. So yeah. I knew it was gonna be. I wanted something easy today, which is why I went here last night. Yeah. And then I we also on the way back from the bins, I had to do a return, so I. I didn't expect to find this, but I found maybe 20 plus pairs of sh men's shorts. Uh, this one thrift store just put out like all their shorts and I yeah. haven't been through them yet. So I and went they were priced them. really well too. Yeah. All like three ninety nine or four ninety nine, and it's short season. So mm -hmm. about to be, so that will probably be my listings tomorrow. Just cause again, super easy. Yeah. Stuff. When you're doing 15 um, of the exact same thing, you get yeah. really in that nice, um, batching out work kind of yeah. mode. So, so that's, Cool. So next couple of days should be fairly easy. Um, yeah. But we got to get this mess taken care of. So. Yeah. A lot of catch up we got to do still. So I don't know. We're going to try to record this before we got to go pick up the kids. Oh, Reese, I didn't know you were behind me, Bubba. <laughs> What's that? This whole the max part of the bins. Oh, that. Still. But that blue bag is not. That's just the listings we need to put. Oh, I see. I see. This is just stuff. The sock is falling off. <laughs> So yeah. Um, he has one of those things on his foot. Oh, he's got. He's got a. He's got a tag along. Ooh, he's such a good boy. The last one he had, he didn't even chew. So. <laughs> Yeah, uh, that's going to be it for today, but I think we're going to roll right into tomorrow's What's Old or right now. All right, guys, we're back. It is now Wednesday morning. It's going on about 10, 10, 15. We've been up here working away. Kathy's over there doing some listing, cross-listing, all that fun stuff. And I just wanted to show you guys, we got this stuff all bagged up. This was everything that Kathy uh, photographed yesterday, right? So this was yesterday's listings. So you photographed a list of these, this is what, 15 items. Yep. And I just got done bagging and I just want to show you guys the setup that I kind of do. I don't know if it's going to help or not, but I just sit here, use this little table to work. Obviously the stuff's not on the table when I'm folding and, and bagging. There's a little bag there that I was taking inventory from. Um, and yeah, just bagging it and folding and lint rolling and all that fun stuff. Here's another neat trick we do. Since we use these bags, they have these little pull tabs for the self seal. And I just stick a little piece of tape to the table here and attach them to that tape just to keep that stuff under control. But yeah, we uh, just watch some YouTube while we're working, doing all that stuff. And I don't know, you have probably to photograph some stuff for today, right? We haven't done our Eventually. listings for today. I mean, it's 10. Chris has a haircut at Yeah. 10, and I'm, I kind of want to go. It, it's like 20 minutes up the road. So there's a good well, kind of close where he gets his haircut that I don't get to go too often, but I like going to. So I'm going okay. to tag along so I can go there later. So I'm trying to hurry up and get stuff done. <laughs> Yeah, if I can get 15 photographs, I can, like, draft those in the car and stuff so I don't feel like I'm wasting time. So yeah. I'll see. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I go... I have a, a lady that cuts my hair, and I don't I don't like going to these super clips or whatever these places are. I like going and not having to talk about what I want done to my hair. <laughs> she knows what I like. She... she just does it so <laughs> she also trims my beard and all that stuff but um yeah so we're gonna do that and that's probably right around lunchtime so yeah. i don't know you want to maybe try to find some stuff out thrifting and pay for lunch or something <laughs> maybe maybe go get some lunch today <laughs> yeah. think about what i want yeah what do you think reese 
he was laying over there, so we moved his bed there, and it seems like that's what he wanted. Still got all this stuff from our haul that we recorded yesterday, so I imagine we're gonna be pulling some stuff from that to get listed today, but that's kind of the state of the shop right now. Um, probably gonna find some more stuff to bag or maybe I'll start putting this stuff away in our inventory. Oh, this whole bag is, okay. I wasn't sure. This whole bag can be bagged, so that's what I'm gonna work on. most of what's on that shoe shelf got listed a couple days ago. The one on the wall, on the photo wall. So yeah, lots of shoes in the bag. I just don't know that we have anywhere to put them. I mean. Yeah. Stuff is not coming out of the boxes <laughs> quite as fast as it's going in recently. Yeah, actually. sales are still a little slow. I mean, we could pull these now if you want. There's, there's only three sales that came in so far. You want to pull them? Well, <laughs> uh, you want to maybe put these away for... We don't really have anywhere to put them when well, we pull them. I'm going to put them right on top. Okay, let's <laughs> do it. just three things. <laughs> All right. Let's do it. <laughs> Get those out of the way, too. Um, so one of them, or maybe two of them, are actually in here. Hmm, well, these are on here, and these are going to a viewer, but I thought another pair was on here, too. Anyhow, these are going to our viewer, Jane. They're the Hey Dudes from our recent thrift haul with Rebecca. Oh, right. Um, I did wash them, but they did not They did come a tiny bit cleaner, but not quite, so I still listed them. I think I listed at 25 with our eBay sale running. Jane paid twenty-one seventy-one plus ship, so thank you so much. Jane, thank you. Yeah, I hadn't averaged my cost of goods for the bins, but it's probably like a, around a dollar fifty or so. Right. Um, and those are just under a pound, so they're gonna go in a poly mailer. And then, yeah, I actually think the last two are probably in this bag. And oh, okay. Recent listed that I haven't put away yet. There's one. Here's. I'm saving you. No. Well, I'm going to have to bag them anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That. Where is the storage shoe? So now you're give, you're making it more work because I'm going to have to pick this <laughs> <Yeah>. all up. <laughs> all right. Yeah, these Torrid Mary Jane. So they're just like a faux patent leather. And I tried to wipe them, but then I kind of like smudged them up because... So I tried to clean them, but I feel like I made them worse. Yeah, clouded Anyways, them up a little. And I actually paid up for these for like torrid and like boat leather. Um, I paid ten ninety nine for them, but I accepted a thirty eight dollar offer on Posh. So it was still worth it. They sold fast. They were size twelve wide, so I, I thought that was a good size to yeah. grab, and it was. And other than that, I shared this one on my Instagram last night because. I thought it was a cool sale. Um, I bought these off of Kittizen. Uh They're just a little toddler Jordan. Uh, the seller was only selling them for $8 plus shipping. So all in, I was at $13.82 with tax and everything. And I listed them on Mercari. You know, I re-photographed them. They just listed them as Jordan shoes or something like that. Right. That's it. And they only had like two really bad pictures. Mm -hmm. um, but two good enough pictures that I could tell they were in good enough shape to flip. So right. I bought them. And I listed them on Mercari. I got the actual style code number and everything to know what they were actually called. Mm -hmm. And they sold in just a few days for $46 plus shipping. So wow. really good sale. Yeah. So yeah, I do find deals all the time on Kittizen to flip. So we have a code below if you want to try to find <laughs> something. Like um, if you've never downloaded the app, you'll get $5 off with our code is ginger all caps but if you just click there's a link in the description it should auto fill that for you right yeah, if you want to just find something to flip or just find something for your kiddo to wear they also have mama clothing on the app if you want to buy something for yourself so yeah yeah that's just a trick i do i like to source online it's not like i'm i wasn't specifically looking for anything I, right i just scroll the app for looking for our kids something to buy and that was in one of our kids sizes so I just happened to see it. I didn't want it for them, but I knew I could make some money off of it. So, yeah. Right, and that's almost like a, a good example of why you, like, good photographs and good titles yeah, are pretty important. Yeah, so, yep. <laughs> I, <made it. laughs> I just made the listing look more presentable, I guess, and yeah. you can get more money, so, yeah. Cool. So we'll go ahead and bag that stuff up. But, yeah, as of right now, that's all the sales we have so far, and I think sales... I think some more sales will come in a little bit later. I might, if I go with you to lunch, send some offers. Maybe she'll, yeah, car. send some I'm offers. Do, I haven't sent my car offers in a while. Maybe I'll do that. So, yeah, that's that's what's going on right now. Kathy's going to get back at that. I'll go ahead and get this stuff all bagged. 
and then we'll check back in maybe a little bit later and hopefully we have some more sales by then so we'll see you guys in a minute all right guys so we finished bagging and putting away those shoes we actually put everything away got everything in inventory everything was bagged up and yeah i'm on we're on our way to get my hair cut and we're dropping kathy off at this goodwill and this is the goodwill up in monument colorado that's my favorite one of our favorites <laughs> yeah. yeah so we're gonna let her go sourcing a little bit and I'm sure she'll find something good. She finds stuff, good stuff here. Now you jinxed it. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I found a GameCube at this place, yeah. which was surprising. It was 40 bucks, but it was still, I mean, that's still a good find. But we're gonna go let her find something <laughs> good. Hopefully find enough to pay for our lunch. <laughs> we haven't really figured out where we're gonna have lunch, but what time is it? I don't wanna turn the radio. It's 11.40 right now. So I'll, I'll probably be back in about 45 minutes, an hour, and that should be enough time to find something. So. <laughs> Yeah. All, All right. right. We'll check back in in a little bit. Bye, guys. <laughs> I see Kathy coming out. She got a whole cart full of stuff. <laughs> Hello. Sorry. <laughs> Found a bunch of stuff, huh? Yeah. A lot of shoes and a bunch of, I checked the shorts here, so. Cool. Like, probably 10 pairs of shorts. That's it. <laughs> All right. Seems like she's found enough stuff for us to get some lunch. <laughs> so we're going to get some lunch and then, I don't know, maybe we'll show you guys what she found when we get home. All right, guys, we're back at the office. There's what Kathy found. But while we were out, we had, what, how many more sales? Five more sales. Five uh, more. That's awesome. Only one due to, like, me sending offers in the car. So. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I sent a lot of offers. Only one person accepted so far. Um, but, yeah. Let's pull them out. Get them packed up because it is, it's right now 3 o'clock. So yeah. we got to get the stuff off, pick up our kids at 3.40. Yeah. So we should have enough time to show you guys what Kathy <laughs> found. Uh, this is a Giggle Moon dress, so that's a good kid's brand to look out for. Uh, I paid $1.99 for the dress, sold it for $20 plus shipping on Mercari. And that will ship out in a holding mailer. If you guys are not already following Shipping Hip, they just said today they're releasing four new prints in um, April, Ooh. so next month. I've only seen one so far, and I love it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Suns. I think I mentioned that before, so I'm excited. But, yeah, follow them. Uh, once their poly mailers go live, you can always use our code GINGER15. Um, so, yeah. That'll give you 15% off. Yeah, right. you'll just know right away, like, oh, it's today, because they yeah. do sell out fairly quickly a lot of times. So. Right. So follow them on Instagram. You should yeah. still be able to use our code. Yeah. Just to let them know that we sent you. This was the one due to my sending offers in the car. These are a pair of Adidas men's like uh, trail hiking shoes. They are Gore-Tex. I picked these up for $5.99 and sold them for $59 plus shipping. Nice. So I sent that offer. The buyer did message asking if I would go down to $50. Yeah. I mean, they're already, they were listed at 80, which comps supported. Um, then we had a sale running, so it brought it down to closer to 70. And then I had sent the offer at 59 because with shipping, I was like, oh, that'll put it right about 70. And then he asked for 50 and I just said, thanks for your interest, not at this time. And he yeah. said, no problem and still bought them. So, right. And honestly, had it given me the option to send an offer through the message like it sometimes does, I probably would have taken 50 because it was a good enough profit. It was just like going to be a hassle. Right. And I did double check comps um, when he asked just to make sure I wasn't so overpriced or something. Mm -hmm. And the comps still supported my price. So I said no, knowing that they would sell fairly quickly. Right. Bought them, so. That's going in a shoe box because it was an eBay sale. I just looked at this last night, I think. It's a little Jamie and Jack sailboat sweater vest. Got this um, the other day at our, the New Horizons surf store in town. Like, that's the story where you get, like, $5 coupons. Every time you go in and spend 25 bucks, you get a $5 coupon. So mm -hmm. I had two of them. So I ended up buying, like, five things. And then after my coupons, each thing only came out to $0.86. Cents. So that's what I have into that. So not huge money into it. Sold it for seventeen thirty six plus shipping. Sweet. Not too bad for a little kid vest. I'm more happy just how quickly it sold. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> this is uh, the kid stuff is kind of what's been selling today. It makes me want to go look for more kid stuff. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, 
Yeah, sometimes when stuff is slow, you just gotta try different things. Yeah, it does help when we have such a wide variety of yeah. different things. That's why I'm always so scared. Like, I want to do shoes only, but yeah. like, but what about all the nice coats in yeah. Patagonia I'd be passing up on? Right, and, stuff, and shoes so. have been kind of a little slower for us lately, so. Yeah. So, who knows? All yep. we can do is list. That's true. And send offers and stuff, so. Uh, these we can't quite send off because someone bought them full price on Posh. They are the brand Mel, which is like Melissa, mini Melissa, but mm. for adults. Um, full price like jelly sandals for $25. I had $2.99 into them. Okay. And the reason why is Poshmark does have a three hour rule. So the, that buyer, since they bought full price, has three hours to completely cancel the, the order. No questions asked, really. Yeah. So we let that three hours go every time. This is my pile of shame that I haven't put away. <laughs> this is the kids' personal keep those items again. I'm just not putting them away yet. <laughs> anyway, so I did sell one of them, so that's good. We should just uh, put everything that's in that bag and just label it the, the blue <laughs> the IKEA bag. bag. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Since we're low on inventory <laughs> space right now anyway. Uh, so these I had bought for my son. He ended up, well, I tried them on him, hoping he could wear them this summer. They're just huge. And even next year when he turns like eight, I feel like they'll still be too big. So. Mm -hmm. As much as I love them, and I was excited for him to wear them, I just don't think they'll look good. So I sold them while they're still new at Tag. I bought them from a friend off Kittizen for $20.40, and I sold them for $27 on Posh. So I am making all my money back, plus like $0.15. Cents, so. yeah. But, you know, we're using packaging. I had to list it. That took time. So I'm technically losing money if you think of it that way. But. Right. Uh, we need more Tyvex, but yeah, that'll go in a Tyvek mailer, so... And that was it. That was it. So I think we'll pack it up so we can clear up this table and then we'll show you guys the stuff that Kathy was able to find. All right. All right, got our little stack going out and we have held this one back, which was that Poshmark one with the three hours to go or however many hours left, but show <laughs> us what you found at Goodwill. Yeah, bunch of shoes. Normally I find a lot of men's shoes at this store, but I think I only found one men, so mostly women's today. Uh, these are ultras. These are women's five. Are they women's? No, these are men's five, which could also be youth five. So, okay. Uh, essentially, probably a women's like seven then. Um, so that's not too bad. I was like, they were in such good shape, I couldn't leave them. But I was like, five. They're probably gonna take a while to sell, but mm -hmm. maybe not. We'll see. They're in good shape though. I did buy three pairs of snow boots, even though we're kind of going out of snow boot season, and yeah, we're out of kind of boot space, but, well, these ones were 30% off, so these are only like $7. They're gonna sell for at least 30 plus ship once the season comes back around. Right. And I like to kind of be prepared ahead of time, too. Uh, these are little Tom, not little, <laughs> women's eight and a half Toms, black. They're basically like brand new. These usually sell for 25 to $30. These I'm just gonna throw in the wash. They're Skechers, but um, these aren't quite the Hoka look like ones, but I think these ones will sell for a good amount. They do have the arch support in them okay. and they're like a nice knit fabric. So I think that those will sell for 35 to 40. Another snow boot is the Sorrells. If anyone needs to hoard for next year, these are a youth <laughs> one and these are a youth three, four. You know, I was kind of thinking of figuring out a way of, of moving some of these bigger snow boots that we think are going to be, not take them down from being listed, but maybe move them inventory wise to maybe like a large bin. I don't know, Definitely somewhere. And get busted up. <laughs> not like stored incorrectly, just. I don't see how else you would store them in a bin except incorrectly. You can lay them nicely. You shouldn't store them in a bin. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, these it was are just a nice thought. LL Bean men's <laughs> shoes. Um, I did pay a little bit up for these, but they were basically like brand Those new. Those look really nice, yeah. They are your size, but are not, they? well, the they're width. men's 11, so kind of your size, I guess. Yeah, I wear 11 sometimes. I'm 10 uh, and a half usually. But yeah, probably not wide weight. Yeah, those look pretty narrow. <laughs> I've got big, fat feet. Uh, these are another, there's a lot of sketchers today. These ones looked brand new. <laughs> Just like a little slip on, probably go for. I didn't look up comps. I these will, I'm hoping for 50 at least. It might be more. Mm -hmm. These probably 30 to 35. Uh, Columbia snow boots. These are a girls' use four. 
These are the nice ones that go usually around $45, $50. But again, maybe not till next year at this point. Mm -hmm. uh, these are Merrill. I've never really sold this style, but it's kind of like, it's like a water shoe, I think, almost. Like it could be like a sandal. It's like mesh. It's probably quick dry. Good for maybe walking through creeks or something. I don't know, Meryl usually goes for 30 to 35, just something like that, probably. More Skechers. These look comfy, actually, and like, oh, these look like brand new. Who like buy shoes and just like donates them? It's so <laughs> weird. Uh, these are women's 10. I'm hoping for like 35 or so out of those. I don't always buy naturalizer, but these were in really good shape, and I thought the style was cute. Just a little black slip on flat. Mm -hmm. Probably around 30 on those. I didn't look these up, but I've never sold this style of tables before. But like, look at that sole. Like, they're so weird looking, right? Like, they kind of like stick out right there. Yeah, that is interesting. So, but they're in like super good shape. That tread looks really nice. These are women's eight and a half, no, seven and a half. I don't know, I want to say 40 to 50 out of those. I wonder what that is for, because looking at it, that is interesting. Yeah. I mean, they look like a nice hiking shoe. Almost like a, it reminds me of like a, like a sheep's foot, like a cleft foot or something. <laughs> uh, more Skechers. These are like a chunky bottom. I think these are eight and a halves. Yeah. Eight and a halves, probably 35 or so out of those. I did find some Converse Hidden Wedge. So I don't know if you can tell, like, can you tell like there's a wedge right here? So. Oh yeah. Hidden so Wedge. So the Hidden yeah. Wedge, I mean. I still have one on my rack over there that I need to list and haven't because they're just, I washed them. They were already in bad shape. I washed them and they didn't get in any better shape. Mm. And so I wasn't excited about them anymore, but I still need to list them. But yeah. anyways, I haven't sold any, but I have seen <clears throat> comps 80 to a hundred dollars or so. So I don't know what these are going to go for. They're women's seven. Um, yeah, hidden the, wedges do pretty well, don't they? The best style, yeah. So Converse, um, Nike has a pair. Mm -hmm. I think there's, I mean, a lot of brands probably have one. I know there's one other brand that I'm trying to think of, but can't, so. Anyways, yeah, hoping for a good amount out of these. And that was all the shoes, and the rest is shorts, I think, maybe. I did find, like, one pair of Zaya leggings. Oh, a couple shirts. So, um, I mainly went through the men's, like, short rack, so. Got some cool shorts. Okay, so, UHL, yeah. nice. Those will probably go for 35, 40 bucks. Yeah, and we, and we recently just picked up, I think you mentioned it in our haul. We did, I don't know if we showed them, but you picked up a bunch of shorts at another. And <laughs> they're still downstairs. Yeah, they're still downstairs, but. <laughs> but I now mean, I'll just add these to that. Yeah, Whenever I photograph them, they'll all be in the same day, minus a few of them need washed. That's so. going to be a really easy, nice yeah. listing, folding, like just folding shorts and bagging them. going to be super easy. So yeah. <laughs> we're going to go through those quick. I don't even quick. know if I'm going to measure them. Like, oh, yeah? I don't know. I mean, we can it measure them. It doesn't take and, that long to right. measure, but like, it's usually a, <laughs> it's a hassle to me. I just feel like shorts, because they're all men's. If they were women's, I'd measure more, but like, right, these right. are like men's 38. Like, people know what yeah. size. They're just Quicksilver. You know if you wear a men's 38 Quicksilver, for the most part. I don't know. We'll probably measure them, but I want <laughs> to not measure them. I'm not saying I don't want to do any measurements ever again, but... Mm -hmm. Anyways, these are, yeah, Quicksilver. The amphibians, so they're like a stretch, nice. Could be a swim chunk or just a normal sh casual short. Nice. Size 38. Um, Under Armour golf shorts, size 30. Again, a nice stretch material. These are some Nike Thermofit shorts, size XL. So, more Quicksilver amphibians, size 33. Um, Billabong ones, the stretchy, these are the submersibles, size 34. And I want to say, like, all these, like, basic ones like this are about $25 plus shipping. To sell, yeah. Yeah, the cool ones are going to probably be the best out of this pile. The Nike, maybe, yeah, probably around $25. Mm -hmm. So, essentially, all these shorts are probably going to go right around $25. Uh, these are, like, a Columbia hiking short. And, oh, I bought myself two pairs of leggings, just basic. 
you know, black leggings. Nothing fancy. I did get this Wrangler Pearl Snap. This is a 2X plaid. That'll probably again be around 25. <clears throat> this I just bought because I thought it was cool. That is pretty cool. It's like, I think it's vintage. It doesn't really say where it was made, but look at that old tag. Like, I was going to say that reminds me of like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. And I figured if it doesn't sell, you can wear it. If we ever go on like a vacation, vacation, yeah. like a, a beach type vacation. I just like the two cans. That was cute. Yeah, that's cool. And lastly, yeah, a pair of Zaya crop leggings. So Zaya, yeah, that's their symbol, the little moon, if you did not know. They are crops. I did look up comps on these just because I normally would pass on crops. They're a size six eight. I still think I can get thirty dollars out of these or close to it. So cool. That was a pretty good hour, I would say. Yeah. Um. Yeah. It's not always like this. I do like that store a lot. And yeah, after I always hit the men's shoes first, and I went to the men's, and I, I only found the one LLB in shoes, and I was like, man, it's not gonna be a good day. Yeah. Right. But then I went to the women's, found all those shoes, and then I was like. You had not message me yet, so I was like, I'll go through shorts. Right. So, yeah. Good thing great. you went through shorts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was yeah, the a lot cool of good ones stuff I there. Love, I love cool. Those are going to sell in like a couple days of being listed. For sure. So awesome. Yeah, that definitely covers our lunch. I think we spent 20, it was almost 30 bucks after tip for lunch and we had some Mexican food. But yeah, we're, uh, we're going to, I guess we're going to get off, take that stuff off to the post office. Well, we still got like 15 minutes. <laughs> we don't have to rush. So we'll get that stuff off to the post office, pick up the kids from school. We have Skate City tonight. <laughs> Our boys are doing something with the school. They got uh, like a Skate City skating rink thing to do this evening. Yeah. So I have to go edit a video before that so we're gonna cut it here guys thank you so much for watching thanks for the support today we appreciate it and i hope to see you all in the next one bye